Hey fourth graders, today we're going to do lesson 107. It is adding and subtracting fractions with common denominators. Now we did make a, a leap from 104 to 107. 105 and 106 are the lessons that I think you can either figure out on your own or that aren't really important for the end of fourth grade. I really want you to focus on these fractions. So don't feel obligated to do 105 or 106. Just go back and look over 102 to 104 and then jump to 107. Okay. So when we talk about adding and subtracting fractions, you're going to need your lesson page, your 107 notes, and then you need your math book open to page 675. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys so we can get started on that lesson. All right, so when we add fractions, it helps to think of the denominators as objects. So you can think of them as pies, you can think of them as pizzas. In this case, I want us to think about apples. So just as one apple plus another apple equals two apples, it still goes the same as for a third of an apple plus a third of an apple. It's going to give us two thirds. Now, uh, when we add fractions, our numerator is the only number that's going to change. Our denominators are going to stay the same. We don't add the denominators, the bottom numbers. So if we think about it this way, we have one third of our circle colored in plus another third of our circle. And if I take one third and I add the other third, so I take this half third of it and then I color in this third of it, I'm gonna make these look a little bit more even. Okay, now I have two thirds colored in. Now that means that I took one plus one is two. My three did not change. I do not put a six here because I'm not actually splitting this into six parts. It still stays three parts. So one third plus one third gives me two thirds. Okay, let's go to example number one. It says that we, Blake is going to mix three fifths of a pound of cashews with one fifth of a pound of pecans. What is the weight in pounds of cashews when they pe and the pecan mixture? So we're only going to add the top numbers. They gave us two fractions. They gave us three fifths. And they also gave us one fifth, okay? Three fifths plus one fifths. Now remember, we're only adding our top numbers. We're not adding our bottom numbers because it still stays out of fifths. So three fifths plus one fifths, three plus one is four. Five stays the same, it's our denominator, it's not changing. And now we have four fifths, and don't forget our label, of a pound. So just a side note, remember that if we did end up having five over five, that is equal to one, we would have one pound. But we don't, we only have four fifths of a pound, okay? But that five over five is equal to one whole pound, one whole circle. All right, now that's adding fractions, it's pretty simple. So the same happens when we subtract fractions. We subtract only the numerators, the denominator does not change. So if I have five sevenths, and I'm subtracting two sevenths, five minus two gives me three. My denominator does not change, it stays seven, so three sevenths. Okay, let's look at example number two. It says to make a small bow for a present, um, change the name if you don't know how to say it. Denitria cuts one fifth, of one fifth of a yard of ribbon from a length of a ribbon that was three fifths of a yard long. So what is the length of ribbon that was not used for the bow. So we're only subtracting the numerators and they gave us two fractions. They gave us three fifths and we're gonna subtract one fifth. We had three fifths of yard of a ribbon and then we took one fifth away. So now we need to figure out what was not used. Three minus one is two. Remember our denominator does not change and now we get two fifths of a yard. You know how to subtract and add, it should be fairly simple. All right, example number three. Recall that a mixed number is when we have a whole number plus a fraction. So two and three fifths is what we're gonna work with. To add mixed numbers, we need to add the fraction parts and then we need to add our whole numbers. So here they're giving us two and three fifths. Two and three fifths. And we're gonna add three and one fifth. It's helpful to write the numbers above one another. So if you want to write it vertically, I'm actually going to change that. 
they gave us those two numbers and then make it all fit into one little box. So they gave us two and three fifths plus three and one fifths, but they told us that it could be easier to write it vertically. So I'm gonna write two and three fifths plus three and one fifths. Now I'm going to add my whole numbers first. So two plus three is five. Then I'm gonna add my numbers. Remember our denominator doesn't change, but three plus one is four. And my denominator doesn't change. I get five and four fifths. So the sum of two and three fifths plus one and one fifth is four or five and four fifths. I think you guys could get this pretty simple. All right, example number four, we're gonna subtract now. It tells us we're gonna subtract five and two thirds, five and two thirds minus one and one third. Okay, subtract my whole numbers. Five minus one is four. Two minus one is one. Denominator stays the same. I get four and one third. This lesson should be go fairly quick for you guys. You can do it the same way. Like if let's just do this one in 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 a horizontal. It says in the race Martin rode his bike seven and one half miles and then ran two and one half miles. Altogether, how far did Martin ride his bike and run? So instead of doing it vertically, we're gonna do it horizontally. I said that he ran seven and a half miles. And then he uh, he biked seven and a half miles and he ran two and a half miles. I can still take seven plus two, seven, eight, nine. And then I have one plus one is two. And my denominator stays the same. Wait a second, doesn't a number on top that equals a number on bottom make it a whole number? So two over two is actually one. So really I have nine plus one, which gets me to 10. Because remember, you have two out of two sections colored in. So that's equal to one. Oops. That's equal to one. And we can't just say two and two over two. We need to actually convert that into a whole number. We can't just say nine and one. Nine plus one gets you to 10. So all together, he rode and ran 10 miles. There's my abbreviation of miles. All right. Okay. I think that was a lesson that we shouldn't have any issues with. You guys know how to add. You guys are phenomenal at adding and subtracting. Just make sure that you're not changing that denominator. Your denominator is already the same. The only case we changed it is when we got to a two over a two, or even if it was a five or a five, that still is equal to one whole. So we need to make sure we add our two whole numbers. Nine plus one gave us a 10. Okay, so go ahead and do your lesson practice, A and B. And then on the back side, you have C, D, E, and F. Like also on the last lesson, if you want to add A and B down here, you can. These notes were already made, so I could have made it easier and put it all on one page, but they were already made. I didn't want to waste any more paper. So go ahead, get your lesson practice done, take a picture of it, uh, post it to your Seesaw page under lesson 107. And if you have any questions, let me know. And good luck.